Lower taxes, safer streets and better run local services. It's what local Conservatives are known for delivering up and down the country. And your vote on the 2nd of May will decide who is in charge of those services, how much they cost you uh, and who is delivering on your priorities. For me, the choice is clear. Conservative councils set lower council tax than Labour councils. That means a typical Bandy property in England pays £80 a year less in council tax under a Conservative council. They also offer better services. Conservative councils are four times tougher on fly tipping and suffer three times fewer incidents as a result. So when it comes to local transport, the Conservatives will be making sure that there'll be a £2 cap on buses and we'll be making sure that we fix all the potholes in the road. And North Streets are safe under the Conservatives. We keep crime lower than in Labour and areas and we put 20,000 more police on the beat. And it's Conservative mayors who are delivering for their areas and they are doing it without increasing your council tax bill. The alternative to all that progress is clear. Labour councils failing local residents. If you live in a Labour council area, you pay more council tax. You're more likely to be a victim of crime. You're more likely to experience fly tipping. You're more likely to have to wait behind non-British nationals for social housing. Their record is terrible. Twice as many Labour councils are on the brink of bankruptcy compared to Conservative authorities. We know the last few years have not been easy. Covid, wars in Ukraine and the Middle East, they've caused global instability, but we know it's felt locally here too. These challenges have made your lives tough, with higher inflation, backlogs in our key public services and additional pressures caused by illegal channel crossings. But things have turned a corner this year. Inflation has more than halved from 11% to 3.4%. Wages are rising. Mortgage rates are starting to come down. And because of this progress, Rishi Sunak's Conservatives were able to afford tax cuts. £900 for the average worker, all while committing to the triple lock, which is increasing state pensions by £900 and changing child benefit to save many families an extra £1,300. So on May the 2nd, let's stick with the Conservatives' plan that's delivering lower taxes, better services and safer streets not risk going back to square one under Labour, who have a track record of failure in local government with higher taxes, higher bills and more local crime. That's the choice at the upcoming elections. So on May the 2nd, it's you that gets to decide. Vote Conservative for a brighter future.